In a significant advancement for its domestic defense industry, Turkey has successfully tested and received the new Ishik High Power Laser System, Ishik Yüksek Güçlü Laser Sistemi. This system, developed by Tubitak Bilgem, Information Security and Advanced Technologies Branch of the Scientific and Technological Research Council of Turkey, in collaboration with A. Selsan, represents a major step forward in Turkey's ambition to develop indigenous-directed energy weapons. Power and Capabilities The Aishaak system uses a 20-kilowatt KDW laser source. The system has a soft kill mode effective up to 5 kilometers for disrupting optical or electro-optical sensors, and a hard kill mode capable of physically damaging or destroying targets up to 1.5 kilometers away. The system reportedly achieves an 85% domestic production rate, meaning most of its components and subsystems are developed in Turkai. Aichik is built with a modular design, allowing for future upgrades to higher power levels, 100 kilo or more, and adaptation to various platforms. Integration and targeting. Acelsan provides the target tracking for acquisition and subsystem, enabling precise targeting, and the system is designed to integrate with other defense networks. On September 25, 2025, the Aishik system completed its final acceptance tests at the test site in Kurukale, Turkey. Lethality tests were conducted, including impact with a 3mm steel plate moving at a speed of approximately 20 meters. Glare, sensor, interference tests were conducted on the UAV's optical system, camera sensor, the Ministry of Industry and Technology. Through Minister Mehmet Fatih Kudjer, publicly confirmed the success of the tests and highlighted the potential operational readiness of ISHIC. This testing milestone means that ISHIC is no longer just a research project or prototype. It has reached a level of maturity consistent with potential real-world applications. The ISHIC system is not Turkey's first foray into laser or directed energy weapons. Previous systems and projects include Armol, vehicle-mounted fiber laser system, one of Turkey's earlier national laser systems, incorporating a low-power laser, 1.25 keeldotter, mounted on an armored vehicle, Cobra, Jarmol, developed by Tubitak Bilgem and deployed to the Gendarmerie, uses a 5 keeldotter single-mode fiber laser integrated on a Kirpi armored vehicle. The system has been tested against UAVs and small air threats. Gjukberg, a mobile laser weapon developed by Aselsan, tested in 2025, automatically detects, tracks, and neutralizes FPV drones at ranges of up to 1200 meters. This system is part of Turkey's layered or tiered approach to air and UAV defense strategy, sometimes referred to in the media as part of the steel dome concept. In many ways, Aichik builds on previous developments, combining higher power, better optics, and more advanced targeting and integration capabilities into a more capable system. Given the widespread use of drones for reconnaissance, strikes, long-range reconnaissance, and kamikaze missions, having a tool that is precise and responsive is invaluable. Dazzle mode can blind sensors, Forceful kill mode can neutralize small aerial threats before they pose a threat. Because lasers operate at the speed of light, the attack delay is minimal, except for sensor and pointing delays. ISHIC can protect installations, air bases, command centers, critical infrastructure from drone attacks or reconnaissance. In maritime or coastal defense, the system can be deployed on naval vessels or coastal platforms to counter swarms of drones or small unmanned aerial vehicles. Lasers are not a substitute for missiles or guns, but they can serve as a complementary layer, particularly effective for low-cost threats that would be expensive to counter with missiles. Economically, the cost per shot of a laser system, electricity plus wear and tear, tends to be lower than missile expenditures especially for small or recurring threats. Demonstrating a high-powered domestic laser weapon enhances 
Turkey's technological prestige and may have geopolitical signaling value. It reduces dependence on foreign systems in sensitive technological domains. Lasers degrade over long distances due to scattering, absorption, turbulence, dust, humidity, and weather, fog, rain. Achieving consistent performance at maximum range, PT5 Dave Kilonard's blinding, 1.5 km lethal, under all environmental conditions, is a challenge. High power lasers require significant electrical power, heat dissipation, and thermal management, especially in mobile or naval settings. Stronger or more reflective surfaces, protective materials, or coatings can reduce laser effectiveness, especially for hard kill modes. Lasers require an unobstructed path to the target. They cannot see behind obstacles or around terrain. Optical components, mirrors, lenses, degrade over time under high flux. The system must withstand harsh operational conditions. Thus, while promising, iShik's real-world performance will depend heavily on how these challenges are addressed in operational settings. Next steps will likely include deployment trials on actual platforms, ground vehicles, naval vessels, and integration with broader defense networks, radar, command and control, tracking systems. Because the iShik is modularly designed, future versions may reach 100 kilodollars or more, further enhancing its capabilities, particularly for more challenging targets or longer ranges. If the system proves reliable and cost-effective, it could become an export item in the global arms market. Globally, only a few countries have successfully deployed operational laser weapons, ET G, the U.S., Israel. Turkey's entry into this field could change the dynamics of the regional defense technology, competition, Turkey's successful testing, and acceptance of the Aishik High Power Laser system marks a significant milestone in the development of directed energy weapons with a power of 20 kilo mangwa, dual mode, stun and kill capability, and high domestic content. The Aishak is a strong statement of Turkey's ambitions in laser-based defense electronics and warfare. While technical and operational challenges remain, the system strengthens Turkey's deterrence posture, adds a modern layer to its air defenses, and places the country among a relatively small group of countries developing advanced laser weapons. Laser weapons.